Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a taste test on a 7 pot Dugla. It's a very hot 7 pot strain that comes from Trinidad. It's a very large pod. You see the um, it's got a really pimply skin, wrinkly. I read that it's, it's like it's got a little four little kind of lobes there. I read that it's the third, it's rated as the third hottest pepper in the world by the Guinness Book. The Carolina Reaper being first and the uh, Trinidad Maruga Scorpion second. Uh, this one uh, tops out at, not all, all of them are this hot, but this strain tops out at about 1.8 million Scoville units. Definitely not going to do a whole pod test on this, probably a quarter pod, but um, it should give me a good taste and uh, feel for the heat. And uh, so, uh, also, um, this was sent to me by Jesus Rosario. He grew this as well. Uh, he's from Puerto Rico, and uh, he's a master grower, and makes produces some really beautiful plants and pods. You can find him on uh, the Pepper Lovers community on Google Plus, and I'll put a link to that in uh, the, in the description. Um, so let's go ahead and um, get this weighed and cut open, and uh, we'll take a look at the inside. Eight point one grams. Really should be wearing gloves. Leave this on my skin, I'm sure. Wow, it's beautiful. I can smell it already. A lot of placenta. You know, thin wall. I think super hot ones with the thin walls and puppy skin and all the placenta usually really, really hot. You kind of see the lining on the inside. I don't know if that's an extension of the placenta or something else, but it's pretty oily. So, um, Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, it smells very seven pot ish. Really strong. Cool. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, take a slice and see how it tastes. Alright, I'm back. Took a half of that bigger piece. Oh, it's like a, about a quarter. It's a good quarter piece of that. Uh, I did pick the seeds out. I'm going to save them. All right, here goes the uh, seven pot dugla. Wow, it's hot. It's one of those that heat doesn't hit you till after you swallow it. But it's uh <coughs> Wow. The actual flavor of it when I was chewing was kind of mild. A little bit floral. A little more of an aftertaste. <clears throat> really wasn't bitter. Aftertaste maybe a tiny bit bitter on my tongue, but wow, it's pretty searing right now. Tongue, um, it's already creeping back to the back of my throat. I feel it down in my gut. <clears throat> wow, it's hot. I don't eat quarter pod. <clears throat> Nose is running a little bit. The salivation started. 
can kind of get a feel of heat down through my chest. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's a really hot pepper. I see mixed reviews on Seven by Douglas on the flavor. Some people say they taste kind of bad, but this one really didn't have a bad flavor to me. I mean, it was, it was the actual flavor it was kind of mild chewing it. Um, I had more stuff going on after I swallowed. It was mostly kind of a mild floral, slightly sweet. Um, wow. Feel like kind of that gas pressure in my pressure in my stomach from it. <clears throat> yeah, it's mostly um, kind of just sitting back back in my throat now, back toward the eustachian tubes. It's one of those that like kind of takes your breath when you swallow. It. It takes a second to kind of recover. Not only I could handle a whole pot of this, I'd probably throw up if I did. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's peaked. I don't think it's gone down any, but. Yeah, it'd be a really strong powder or sauce ingredient. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Back of my throat's kind of drying up. Stomach feels okay now, pain was. Um, I did eat beforehand, which is always a good idea for trying super hot. Yeah, it's basically still sitting right very back of my throat. A little bit on my tongue. To feel a tiny little bit lightheaded. Uh, <clears throat> quarter pod. It's not as, uh, you know, you get a good sample of the whole pod. But if I'd eaten the whole pod, it'd been really intense heat and pain was. Um, <clears throat> This year, my pod test, I want to really go more for um, getting a good sample of the pepper and the flavor and heat without hurting myself. Or really, I don't really want to make it more of a, uh, a challenge or a stunt, but actually just to uh, get a good sample of the pepper and how it tastes and the effects of it. So, so um, that's that's what I'm going for this year in my pod reviews, pod test. Uh, I think that's about it. It's, it's starting to go down a little bit. Um, thank you, Jesus, for sending me that. I really appreciate it. And um, thank you all for watching. And I uh, hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.